In Poland, a mysterious metal case was found on the porch of an orphanage in the village of Deluga. The inscription on it said that it was a donation. Employees, thinking that there might be a bomb, were afraid to open the find and called the police. Arriving police officers opened the case and found sweets and about $25,000 in it. Okay, yeah, but the way that thing looks, I know that the chain and lock are there for a reason because there's a lot of money in it, but it does look highly suspect. But damn, pretty cool nonetheless, I'd say. Turkish photographer beats up client after learning the bride is 15 years old. Hell yeah, man. Me, after I report every military ad I see for threatening violence against others. <laughs> Good one. Your dog's gay. Sorry. Me and my partner adopted a dog a few years back. A mutt of indeterminate breed on the slim side with a face like a seal. Big wet eyes, dark eyelashes, and a blonde-haired face. He's got a penis, and since we can't ask him his gender, we assume he's male. Now, for whatever reason, it seems like every dog he plays with wants to hump him. All of them. He doesn't really care. He'll tell him to knock it off if it gets to be too much, but for the most part, he just keeps playing. The ones who get pissed about it, though, are the humping dog's owners, who come over marching and yelling about how you should get her spayed. My dog never acts like this. Rah! Their face when we tell them that our dog is, in fact, not a girl, is quite enjoyable. This giant digital billboard was vandalized with paint within weeks of it being put up. I love my city. Yep, deserves it. Bristol against digital advertising screens. You know, I heard a joke a while back about them maybe putting billboards in space, and my favorite response to that has always been, and will always be, if I look up to see the moon and I see advertisements anywhere in the sky, I will become a terrorist. Today I learned in 2018 a hacker broke into people's routers, about a hundred thousand of them, and patched their vulnerabilities up so that they couldn't be abused by other hackers. Hmm. A strange and rare tale of a good hacker doing a good boy thing. At least once a month I randomly remember that Dr. Phil once invited the creator of the Bum Fights video series on his show to confront him about exploiting vulnerable people for financial gain, only for him to show up dressed as Dr. Phil and point out he does the exact same thing. And to my recollection, uh, it lasted all of like 10 seconds once he did that because Dr. Phil is a giant no! plant saver. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Don't know why the plant was knocked over in the first place, but at least someone was there to pick up the pieces, right? The Indiana law that lets citizens <laughs> cops. The Hoosier state now allows people to use deadly force to keep public servants from illegally entering their homes or cars. Police, of course, are not pleased. Oh yeah, they don't get to bust into your home without warning or anything like that at all and <coughs> you while you sleep anymore. <laughs> at least literally only in Indiana. Some residents of this town hold authorities at gunpoint and made them construct a road overnight. 30 were arrested. Accidents were allegedly witnessed on that patch of broken road. Sometimes people just get fed the hell up, brother. My university is greedy, so I decided to post everything I learn about woodworking at an almost $300,000 four-year curriculum. <laughs> Your university teaches woodcutting at $300,000 for a full four years? Wow. I'm not posting this to sell promotion, but to share the opportunity to learn for everyone. The financial situation of colleges and universities in the USA is ridiculous, and this is my way of getting back at them. I don't charge for anything, and I don't ever plan to. I just ask that everyone's civil and follows the rules. There are already three assignments you could start working on, as well as a ton of information and material to look over. Aha! Woodwork Robin Hood. Now that is true chaotic good in my book. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We've got new merch over at mkshop.com. Why don't you go over there and take a look for yourself? This stuff, made with 100% cotton, is hefty, thick, and built to last. So you'd be crazy not to get it, right? Head on over now and use code BOOBIN at checkout to get free shipping. Ukrainian women are using dating profiles with AI images to trick horny Russian soldiers into giving away secrets, report says. <laughs> oh, God damn it! I visited my high school I dropped out of 76 years ago to pay tribute to the popular girls that bullied me to think I'd never be popular. Now I have 6 million followers and they're all rotting underground. You freaking show them! After many cocks, the first black female postmaster was pressured out of her post in Mississippi, President Theodore Roosevelt continued to pay her salary and punished the town by re routing their mail 30 miles away until they gave her back the position. I feel like there are a lot of ways he could have solved this issue, but he chose the funniest, in my opinion. I appreciate it. I noticed there was a blank wall at McDonald's, so I decided to make this fake poster of me and my friend and put it up. It's been there for 51 days. I feel like everybody that noticed that it was because the, they all
all noticed. They didn't just not notice the poster. They did, but they probably assumed, oh, management must have come down and put it up there. This man is painting penises on potholes, so the council has to take action. Mm -hmm. You know, I've always wondered how well this really works, because our neighborhood is messed up, and I would like for them to actually fix the damn roads at least one time. My roommate, when she talks to unvaccinated guys and convinces them to get the vaccine so they can go on a date and then proceeds to ghost them, good. Suck it. I worked for a billing office and built programs to make it easier to keep track of clients, payments, and records. I was fired and told to finish out two weeks. In that time, I removed every program I'd created and put them back on their outdated original program. Good. They don't own your programs. You do. Suck it. They can just suck it. The last time we had a real live shutdown, one of the local college radio stations started playing the uncensored versions of all the songs they can't normally play since the FCC wasn't operating and couldn't find them. I feel like we should do that again, but on the big boy radio stations. Although, you know, at a certain point, they'll just start secretly keeping track anyway, rack up a bill, and then send it to everybody because that's how this all works. I practice hostile, oh, pedestrianism. Driver speeds up and tries to beat me through the crosswalk. I start running, so they either have to stop or run me over. Driver edging into the crosswalk at a stoplight. I make direct eye contact and shout at them as I give them a thumbs down. I'm aware this will probably result in me getting shot or run over, but I don't care. Said it before and I'll say it again. Just because someone pisses you off or annoys you or anything like that does not mean you have the right to murder them. Just because you have a gun in your car does not mean that when you get mad, you get to pull it out and end someone's life. You are not that person. And if you think you are, you'll spend a lot of time in f***ing prison and you'll deserve it. I want bad drivers to be uncomfortable in their interactions with me and think about it for the rest of the day. I want bad drivers to tell their friends about some crazy guy who yelled at them in the middle of an intersection. I want bad drivers to be fearful of me, so they look for pedestrians while they drive. Really, I want to make driving less comfortable for those who have grown lazy. They're not even lazy, they're just pieces of shit. <laughs> Time to paint me! Oh, there you go. Results. Thank you. Chaotic good for sure. Hedge funds. Hmm, GameStop can't open its doors because of the pandemic. Let's short more than 100% of its stock so the company dies and 15,000 people lose their jobs. Reddit. Screw you. Finance media. Oh my god, the Redditors are using foul language. God, do I wish we could keep doing that again and again and again. Screw hedge funds. Die. Just die. Update. Republicans started recruiting plaintiffs for a lawsuit to stop student debt relief. Our response? 130,000 false applications were sent in less than a day. Good work, everybody. Yep, keep it up. Absolutely keep it up. The world and our country are not able to continue operating under crippling lifelong debt. It's not going to f***ing work. People are dying. This has to stop. I was terminated from my job, but still have their grocery supplier login. I worked in a commercial kitchen. This large company screwed me over and took advantage of me. I really wanted to add ridiculous pointless items to their deliveries. Would this be illegal? I don't think the website tracks login locations. Well, if you have the login, you have the credentials to change the password and even better, the delivery address. Change both, make the address to a homeless shelter, and order one big-ass delivery of non-perishables, canned goods, and anything that'll make their lives wonderful for a spell. <laughs> you know, big companies, you know them as well as I do. They're not just gonna let them have it. Once they figure out what's going on, they're gonna find out where those deliveries were made, they're gonna have a bunch of douchebags show up and take it back. If you hate your HOA, nothing funnier than installing a 7,000 plus capacity bat roost causing thousands of bats to come into your neighborhood. They'll cause your HOA to complain, but they can't legally do anything about it because bats are federally protected animals and it cannot be removed. <laughs> Knowing HOAs, though, they should all die and burn in hell, they will find a way. They will absolutely figure out a way to get this taken down or, you know, get you killed or something. HOAs do all sorts of nasty, disgusting shit. Good morning, evil bitches. How'd y'all fare in the night? Great. I sent an email to my landlord about our living conditions and CC'd his mom, dad, uncle, granddad, the CHA, city of Chicago, elected officials, and every multi-million dollar company and foundation his family owns or heads. Good. Keep it that way. A French weightlifter named Charles, I won't ruin your last name, was jailed for hitting a <laughs> guard, but broke out of the jail cell by bending the bars. He allowed the other prisoners to escape as well, as he then beat the guard who jailed him. One of the few people in history I think we can unironically say was built different. When contestants do cry out of frustration or disappointment generally, Mel and Sue stand near them and use unairable language, so the embarrassing footage is tainted and won't make it into the final edit. Using unwholesome language to keep your show wholesome. Aww. As well as swearing, they also use brand names. This must be the definition of chaotic good, honestly. It's also just being very, very clever. There's a vigilante in Rome, Italy that vandalizes cars that are parked on pavement or blocking disabled access. Good. Screw you. You know what you're doing. You know where you parked. Suck it, asshole. 
people, what's the craziest crime you or somebody in your family committed? It's not a bad crime or anything, but it was illegal at the time. So in Germany up until a few years ago, we still had a general draft of the army, and a generation ago it was very hard to get out of it. My uncle was a hardcore pacifist, so going to the army wasn't an option for him. But being accepted as a conscientious objector at the time basically required you to be a devout Christian and use the Bible as an argument for why you couldn't kill another human. And my uncle was also atheist, so he couldn't realistically object, didn't want to go to the army, and didn't want to go to jail, too, so he waited. He got sent his first draft notice, passed the physical, and got a letter telling him to report to X Company under Sergeant Y. He wrote back a reply on rose-colored paper, scented with perfume, about how much he was looking forward to serving under the strong leadership of Y, promising to obey every one of his orders, and that he can't wait to experience life in the barracks together with so many strong and muscular men. He was declared unfit for service shortly after. Yeah, that's great. That's super cool. Black men drinking water at a white-only fountain in 1964. Again, I've mentioned it before, but it's still crazy how this stuff was not happening very long ago, really at all. Our grandparents were there. Had a baby boomer in front of me at the Dairy Queen. She insisted she was the blizzard expert, and there was simply not enough chocolate pieces in her blizzard, and she wanted to complain to whoever was in charge. She's going on and on with this teenager. The teenager is calmly explaining they make them all the same, etc., etc., but this woman's now yelling at them. So I walk past the woman and put money in the teen's tip jar. Haven't gotten ice cream yet. Woman looks at me and turns back and yells more and more with the teen. I put more money in there. The teen smiles at me. The woman can't think of what to say and stops yelling, because I'm looking at her dead in the eye with the ATM is over there, I can go all night. The more you yell at her, the more money she makes kind of look. Aggressive generosity to combat boomer selfishness is so punk. Also, we as a society need to come together and be a little bit more vocal about defending employees of stores like that. I'm sorry, the teenagers don't and aren't allowed to speak up because they kind of want to keep their job even if they don't like it, and most of them don't. Most people don't like their jobs, as a matter of fact, because they all suck and they get paid nothing for it. But we're not allowed to yell at people who are being horribly abusive smartasses who make threats and do whatever they want. We, as a society, like I said, need to band together, and whenever we see that happening, tell that person to shut the <laughs> fuck up and leave. And maybe don't come back. They are not welcome anywhere. Man buys a hate group's domain and turns it into a gay furry site. The Wolves of Odin is an anti-Muslim hate group, but if you go to their Canadian website, you'll only see love. Be me, sisters having an extra rough day. Take my nephew to one of those jump parks just to give her a moment to breathe. He's enjoying himself and wants to play dodgeball with the other kids. The other kids are 12 to 14 while he's 7. Tell him I won't stop him from having fun, but expect no mercy from the older kids. He gets slaughtered, clearly upset. The other kids are clearly targeting him. His entire team is obliterated. Decide enough is enough. Walk into the court like big <coughs> in a locker room. Be 25-year-old, 6'4", fat-ass, whatever user, adult. Can throw one of these balls with the speed of a meteor compared to the plebeian kids on the other team. Reenact that scene in Dodgeball where the loser gets really pissed off and murders the entire team solo. Jump up on the trampoline so high that when my full fat ass weight goes down into a throw, I knock kids down. They're flying into the sides of the trampolines after my gorilla throws. Nephew thinks it's the most badass crap ever. Our team wins. Take him out for ice cream after. I've not done much with my crappy life, but I'll never forget how happy my nephew was to tell my sister that I slam dunked other children. Miriam Rodriguez hunted down 10 of her 20-year-old daughter's kidnappers, stalking them one by one across Mexico until they were either dead or in prison. Much like Liam Neeson's character in the 2008 film, Taken because you didn't f***ing say it, Miriam Rodriguez from Mexico used guns, fake IDs, and even disguises to hunt down the men who snatched and murdered her child. I hope she was completely and utterly successful. Walmart to close its doors on Black Friday. I'm starting a misinformation campaign to convince people that Walmart is closed on Black Friday. That way, the people who work at Walmart will have a less stressful day. Join me in the fight to spread positive misinformation. Yeah, we gotta stop this whole Black Friday thing, because it's not even on the day anymore. It's like it's its own holiday now. Thanksgiving who? It's like October now coming out into stores in August, or Christmas beginning to sell decorations. Like, I say Christmas like it's an entity that's doing it itself. You know, Christmas decorations pop out October 1st for some reason, which is complete bullshit. <laughs> honestly, knock it off, please. And Black Friday's basically the entire month now, so that's cool. I buried my boss's son, Scooter. Okay. Okay, my teacher wanted a story that's gonna shock him, so I wrote him a cute little story about a couple, Fletcher and Mia, falling in love. The last sentences of the story are, so what's your full name? I mean, what's Mia short for? Michael. Because my teacher's kinda homophobic, I'm gonna force him to enjoy a fluffy love story with no gender pronouns, and oh, what a shame, you liked a story about a gay couple. Sorry, man. I've been using Spotify to secretly spy on my friend. One of my closest friends names her Spotify playlist with specific names. One of her playlists is called Sad Lady Hours, and every time I see her actively listening to it, I shoot her a hopefully inconspicuous text asking what she's up to, that I love her, etc., etc. 
I hope she never notices the pattern. Purest thing I've ever heard. In the town where I grew up, there was a large statue in one of the parks of a famous historical white colonizer. I'm not gonna say who specifically. Suffice it to say that it was someone who wasn't worth memorializing for their deeds. And as you can imagine, this statue was a frequent target of vandalism, with paint or toilet paper or eggs on multiple occasions. Now, the local council was generally pretty lax when it came to repairing potholes or other public damage in the town, but every time, 24 hours after this particular statue was hit, the same person would always appear in a high-vis vest, hat, mask, and sunglasses, carrying a bucket of water, and wash it clean. They would do it as quickly as possible, but always made sure the face and name carved at the bottom were generously scrubbed. This only encouraged people to do it again, and it became a vicious cycle. Within the year, the statue had sustained so much damage it was unrecognizable, and the lettering unreadable. So eventually, the council came and took it down. Also, apparently, the person in the high-vis vest didn't even work with them. They were supposedly just some good Samaritan who cleaned it, often before the council even discovered it needed cleaning. So they just let them do it and ignored the problem. They didn't bother putting the statue up again. Much later, we found out that the anonymous Samaritan had been deliberately washing the statue with a bucket of salt water, which had dramatically corroded it, causing irreversible accumulative damage far worse than spray paint ever would have done. <laughs> it's even theorized that they were also often the ones spray painting it, just so they had an excuse to come back after a day to wash it. A good Samaritan indeed. Ohio has stopped kicking workers off unemployment after a hacker targeted the state website used by employers to report employees who refused to report for work. The hacker submitted huge volumes of junk data, making it impossible to investigate workers. Hey, Commonwealth Bank, how about you service your freaking ATMs in Bunbury so punters like me will not have to tape fish to them so you'll have no choice but to come and fix them. I have more fish, tape, and willpower than your entire organization. Fix them now. I've just taken my son's phone. How do I access his history? It's impossible. Oh, thanks. So I got a friend who was protesting. They got arrested and then they called their job from jail to tell them that they were in jail and weren't going to make it to work. Why did their job bail them out and make them come to work? I genuinely couldn't tell you anything about that one, pal. I got absolutely nothing for you. My ex-girlfriend had a few too many shots of tequila in a party and passed out on the couch. When I went to check on her, I noticed she pissed all over the place. To avoid embarrassment, I filled up a bucket with water and threw it over her to disguise it as a prank. I'm that kind of boyfriend. She still has no idea. Now that's chaotic good. Chaotic evil, however, would be pissing all over her to disguise the fact that she pissed herself. I don't know. Would that truly disguise it? Because I'm not 100% sure or convinced of really anything anymore. Adding 400 years of increased school funding by editing the budget with your veto powers. All right. In Wisconsin, governors have a partial veto power, allowing them to strike out but not add individual words and phrases in a bill that's already passed the state legislature. On Wednesday, July 5th, Democratic Governor Tony Evers used this power to edit the language of the new state budget passed by Republican-controlled state legislature to extend the original budget's $325 per student school funding increase from two years to 402 years. Here's the original language of that section. For the limit for the 2023 to 2024 school year and the 2024 to 2025 school year, add $325 to the result under par. Evers used his partial veto power to strike out the text bolded below and got perfectly legally the following result. For the limit for 2023 through 2425, add $325 to the result under par. Money forever. The Gulabi gang is a gang of women in India who track down and beat abusive husbands with brooms. This is too thug not to reblog. Can we give them something a little heavier? Maybe bats? Maybe we'll just give them full-on vacuum cleaners and they can beat the shit out of these guys that way. Graffiti in my hometown. Motor vehicles. No motor vehicles? Yes motor vehicles? What exactly is going on here? Church annoyed after $20 donation turned out to be lecture on evolution. The first church of the Trinity Blessed was appalled because an atheist has infiltrated the sanctity of the church and left a fake donation after the services. Aww, kind of like so many of your flock like to do when they're out at IHOP or something, because, you know, a lot of people go to IHOP after church. I don't know why that feels weird, but I don't know. You couldn't mind your own goddamn business, so why are you pissy now? Aw, poor baby. Mm. 